Hello, everybody. Hello, Jackson Heights. Hello, Queens. Hello, New York. How are you all doing on this Sunday evening? Um, my name is Tana Alexa. This is Antonio Sanchez, and uh, we're so happy to be here. Since the microphone is basically my jurisdiction, I'm going to let Antonio start speaking first um, and just uh, tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing tonight. Thank you. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to be here on this Sunday, the virtual Sundays. Um, we live in Queens. We are in our home studio right now in Jackson Heights. And um, <coughs> as a matter of fact, the first tune that we just played, it's uh, called Home. And this, is co this comes from a record called Lines in the Sand that we did a few years ago with my band Migration. And it's also on another record I did a few years ago called Bad Ombre. And uh, we redid it for for the large group, and now we're doing it dual. So it's a uh, it's a pleasure to be here with you. We're gonna play some mostly uh, Tana's stuff because she's promoting her Grammy-nominated album Ona, uh, nominated for the best jazz album in the vocal category. So we're super excited about that, and also. Uh, Regina Carter, the amazing violin player, got nominated for her solo on Pachamama, which is another song from uh, Ona. So uh, we're looking forward to the Grammys in uh, March, and you better win. Otherwise, I don't know what's going to happen in no this pressure, household. No pressure. So anyway, I'm going to pass the, the mic to Tana to um, explain to you what we're going to do next. So before um, I explain a little bit about the music, I just want to um, say a couple of thank yous. Um, so these virtual Sundays concerts, um, uh, they impact the community of Jackson Heights every year by presenting a diverse array of performers in a, a live setting <laughs> and now in a virtual setting. Um, and this project is made possible with funds from the decentralization program a regrant program of the New York State Council on the Arts with the support of Governor Andrew Cuomo uh, and the New York State Legislature and administered by the Queens Council on the Arts. Um, we also want to thank Councilman Danny Drum uh, and the Queens Council on the Arts um, through the regrant program of the New York City Council and members and friends of the Jackson Heights Beautification Group who helped to bring us here tonight. So um, thank you so much, and uh, thank you to Joseph Knipes, who invited us to be part of this beautiful festival and uh, series. So for our beloved New York. So now we're going to do something um, kind of just completely um, Improv. We're just going to do this uh, improv piece. Uh, the thing is, um, before the pandemic hit, <laughs> Antonio and I had been touring all around the world together, um, mostly with Antonio's band, which is called Migration. Um, it's an incredible quintet, and we had been uh, touring the last record that we did together, which is called Lines in the Sand. Uh, it's also a protest piece about uh, the immigrant experience. And um, there was one tune, um, well, what would happen is that at the end of the show, uh, whenever we would do an encore, Antonio would have me start, and then he would come out, and we would kind of do this dueling thing. Um, and we're going to kind of do the reverse of that right now, where basically Antonio is going to start, and he's going to do an open improv on drums, and uh, then I will come in it and join at some point. And then we're going to segue into a tune off of that record, um, Lines in the Sand, uh, a tune that Antonio wrote called Bad Hombres y Mujeres. And the funny little story behind that tune, when he first wrote it, it was based off of it, another tune called Bad Hombre, um, which he uh, released on an album called Bad Hombre. Um, and he basically took an element of that tune and created this very difficult melody and intro. And when he showed it to me the first time, I said, surely this is not singable. This is impossible. And he left on tour, and he went, um, and uh, you know, basically, we would be texting or, or communicating every once in a while in between plane flights and, and things like that. And I would just tell him, "I hate you. I can't do this. This is impossible. It's so fast. It's so strange. It's so jumping all over the place." 
and, uh, and I was having a really rough time trying to learn this tune. And we, uh, we basically came up with a deal. I said, if I learn this and I can execute this vocally, um, you can't call it bad hombres. You have to call it bad hombres y mujeres because I'm a woman. <laughs> and so that was, our, that was our deal. And um, now that's the way it's called. Woo! So the music gonna start. Do 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 
All right, well, um, I just want to thank you all again for joining us this evening, for uh, coming into our studio in Jackson Heights, for, for uh, spending some time with us and uh, listening to this thing that basically, I mean, had it not been for the pandemic, we would have never really gotten the idea to develop a duo show at all. Um, and so this has been kind of... I mean, it was going to happen sooner or later. We, we actually started the beginning of last year, in January of 2020, um, at the NAM show, which is a big m music conference. M what is it? The National, yeah, Association of music Merchants. National Association of Music Merchants. And Antonio is a Yamaha artist, um, as you can see by his beautiful Yamaha drums. Um, and Yamaha asked if Antonio would come and play at, you know, on the Yamaha stage. And uh, he said, well, you know, my wife Tana is with me uh, and she has all of her machines and things like that. And, and what if we just did a, a duo kind of improv? So basically the improv piece that we just did, which, you know, we didn't really plan anything. We just kind of decided how we we're going to start and how we we're going to finish the thing. Um, and that's basically what we did. And the first time we did it last January, we got off the stage and looked at each other and we're like, oh, OK, well, I guess this is a thing. And then, of course, little did we know that the pandemic was going to hit, you know, two months later, or at least the lockdown in New York was going to start. And um, so we feel very fortunate to be in a house where we can make music together. You know, there are a lot of people that haven't made music with other musicians for a very long time in a live setting. And um, so it's, uh, it's quite a luxury to have each other. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh. Well, we're going to um, end our set this evening with uh, an arrangement that I wrote um, of a, a great tune by a, a band called Massive Attack. This is one of my favorite songs, and it's also on my album, Ona. We're going to do kind of a broken down version of it. Um, and, you know, I wanted to explain also <laughs> what I'm doing over here, because this is a very complicated, strange thing. So essentially what I have are two looping and effects uh, pedals. And I'm changing the quality, the sound, um, and the processing of my voice on both of them. And then on this large one in particular, I'm actually looping my voice. I'm live recording. So if I press the button here and I continue talking, and then I press, press it again here, and it's going to record what I'm and saying. Press, press it again, and then it keeps recording. Recording, recording, recording here, and it keeps recording until I stop it. So. It's, uh, it's been also, during the pandemic, an opportunity for me to really kind of figure out how to play without a band and use all of these incredible things. You know, I can put the delay on the voice, some modulators, woo! Oh no, is that working? <laughs> I don't know if that's working anymore. Well, oh, 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 oh there, there we, we go. go. Well, so there are all these different kinds of effects, and essentially, you know, I've figured out ways to make the voice almost sound like a synthesizer at some point. So it's, it's very cool that we've been able to figure this out um, between the two of us. And of course, having Antonio is, is more than a luxury. <laughs> Rhythm and vibe-wise. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but anyway, so we're going to continue um, and finish the set with this tune called Teardrop. Tum 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 se tum tum te tum tum te tum te tum te tum 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 le tum te tum 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 Well It's also the problem with technology
Yeah. Thank you all so much. Once again, Antonio Sanchez, Tana Alexa. Um, we're playing music from my album, Ona, from Antonio's album, Lines in the Sand. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you to everybody in Queens who made this possible, um, and um, Jackson Heights Beautification Group, and uh, our beautiful neighborhood of Jackson Heights, which we love so much. So thank you. Take care. Stay safe. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>